good morning so this is my rest day and i woke up at 8 30 naturally and i just spent time on my phone so now it's 9 30 and i am trying this new thing on my rest days to not be on my phone as much as possible because what i found is i would watch youtube videos on my days off or TikToks and then I would feel bad about resting because I'd only watch like productive videos. It made me not really rest because I was just feeling bad about it. So I tried this last week and it like changed my life. It was really good. So I'm gonna do it again today and I'm gonna make some breakfast right now. I really would want to buy breakfast, like get Starbucks or something, but I don't think I can afford that. So we will make an acai bowl instead. I decided I'm going to Starbucks because I just want to. I have this matching set from Aerie. It's this waffle knit brown set and I'm gonna wear that. I changed my mind and I'm going to Dunkin Donuts because I've been seeing everybody get the cute heart-shaped donuts and I want one. I just want to be a part of it. Uh, while I'm driving there, I wanted to share just a little bit of what's going on because I haven't vlogged in a hot minute. So I, wow, it's dark, I don't understand. Like I said, school was a really hard adjustment, but I feel like I'm adjusted now. And I am back in counseling, which is good. Everything is pretty normal, except I did have a job interview and it was just a job recommended to me by a friend that I applied for and I think the interview went good. And two days after, they sent me like a social media challenge because they just want to see what I'm able to do for the job position, obviously. I was not really expecting that at all. I was just expecting a yes or no. but. It's good, I understand why they're doing it. It just really stressed me out for some reason and I think I was putting too much pressure on myself that if I didn't do this challenge well and I didn't get the job, then I must not be good at what I do. And that's like just a lie <laughs> and I don't need to believe that. So I was talking that through with Alec, just helping me combat that and trying to alleviate the pressure that I've been putting on myself for this challenge. But I started working on it last night, started coming up with the content I'm gonna create. I always get sick. I have like the weakest immune system that I think I've ever met. I just always get sick. And I can always feel when things are coming on. And I was, starting to feel those symptoms and then they went away and now they're back and I have like a really scratchy throat now and I'm coughing and stuff. I have a problem with dealing with my physical health. Normally that just is on the back burner and I will do homework assignments or work tasks over resting and taking medicine. So I'm trying to get better at that when I'm starting to feel symptoms to immediately slow down and be like, okay, I gotta do something to fix this. Something I did last week that was good that I may do this week, I don't know, is I did a little project that I've just been putting off, but it made me so happy to do. So last week I went and scanned with my little app all of my plants and it told me like what they need to thrive. <laughs> then I wrote it all down, put them all into this system on my Notion, and then I like watered them, pruned them, took care of them. And that was such a fun little rest day project for me. So I may do a project like that today. Can you have a mobile order for Hannah? Yes. All right, hold for me. Thank you. Okay. I don't know how she knew that. <laughs> Hannah? Yep. Here we go. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm back, ready to eat my donuts, and I am gonna watch a YouTube video. And I know 
that you're thinking that's contradictory to what you just said. It's not because I used to watch 20 YouTube videos on my rest days around that. Now I only watch like one or two and I normally try to pick videos that are vlogs and that are rest related or self care related and it makes me not feel that bad. So that's what I'm going to watch and I'm going to enjoy those and my coffee. I devoured those. That was so good. So now I'm going to read my Bible. This is a Hosanna Revival Bible. It's an ESV one. And I realized something that I was doing on my rest days was I was just crashing from the week and like binging YouTube or something. And I wasn't actually filling myself up. And that's why this is so important to me because I need to spiritually, mentally, emotionally fill myself up for the week ahead rather than just crashing from it, you know? I am doing a Bible reading plan right now to read the whole Bible in a year because I've never done that before. So it's on the U version app, I'm pretty sure, and it tells me what to read every day. And then I'm also just going to journal some prayers in this journal. And I'm going to fill my little soul. Computations. My Bible reading session was very long. It's 12 already. I'm going to take the shower. I know a lot of people normally do this on their Sunday reset routines, but... I have a really busy Sunday, so I'm going to do it now, and I'm going to wash my hair, shave my legs, all that good stuff. Now that I'm showered, I'm going to do some journaling, and I do journaling on every rest day because I feel like it's just good to look back on the week and figure out what went well and what didn't go well. So I'll share my journal prompts with you. So this was last week's recap. I put the highlight of the week was the retreat that we went on for young adults. The down point for that week was running around preparing for that retreat. What I didn't accomplish last week was a supplies inventory for my real estate company office. I actually ran out of time, didn't get to do that. What I did accomplish that past week was the first month of my online class work. So that was good. What was energy giving of that week was skipping class. <laughs> and what was energy draining was grocery shopping before class for the retreat. That was a lot. What I was excited for for the following week was Alex's birthday. What the feeling for last week was was I cannot balance everything by myself. True. Grateful for moments spent with the Lord in community. And then I rated the week 6 out of 10. So that's kind of my journaling routine that I do. So I'm going to do that for this past week. I think we're getting into this would be a good hairstyle 
because tomorrow I'm going to a baby shower and it's in the morning so I can just take this out have wavy hair and it'll look good for that but now that I got that done I'm gonna do this face mask I've had this for a while actually and I've already used it before but I might finish this up and just use it while I read a book let me show you what book I'm reading. Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I know that a lot of people already read this book, but I'm just now getting into reading, so I'm giving it a try. So far, I really like it. And I'm about, let's see, 113, so maybe almost halfway through. Yeah, almost halfway. But I'm also on Goodreads. If you want to follow me, I'll link it down below. now it's three o'clock and I'm just now eating some pizza that's over there and one thing that I like to do on my rest days is really just eat when I feel hungry I just realized I had an extra face mask on my face but what I was saying was I like to eat only when I feel hungry and especially because I don't have any time constraints this is a good way to live in my opinion so I'm gonna eat pizza and play Animal Crossing and I like to play Animal Crossing for at least an hour and a half two hours because I don't play that often so I like to give myself uninterrupted time to dive into a game and not think about anything and not feel guilty about it Start your computations. Go. We're watching Ginny and Georgia. Like downright adorable. Thanks, Joe. We are now going to my parents' house because my brother had a seizure today and I know that's very serious and you're like what the heck can <laughs> he went to the hospital they did a bunch of tests and they don't see anything wrong with him and he's back home he's gonna have some more testing some more meetings with the neurologist and all that stuff so he's okay right now he's just resting at home but we want to go visit him and just check in so we're gonna bring him over a cherry limeade and I know this is not the self-care content that you were expecting, but I want to tie it in. <laughs> Having the flexibility to do these things only comes when I actually rest and not feel guilty about it. Because if I was sitting around here and like doing the dishes or folding laundry and doing things because I'm at home, so I might as well just get these things done, then I would not be happy about going to visit my brother but since i actually took care of myself now i can go take care of other people so we're gonna go visit him i'll bring you along i'll just vlog on my phone though I think we're getting into a weird area here. After I watched more Ginny and Georgia and painted my nails for Valentine's Day coming up, 
I came upstairs to read. I like to read at least one chapter in a Christian or self-help book. So I'm reading Emotionally Healthy Spirituality, and if you've never read it, you definitely have to. It is so good when it comes to your spiritual growth and your emotional maturity as well. I'm going to get actually ready for bed probably and I'll do a little night routine with you to end off this little vlog. Sorry that most of this vlog has been filmed in this bathroom by the way but that's just the vibe. So first I take off my makeup normally, take out my contacts and it's already done. So now we're going to wash our face. I'm finishing using, I know it's upside down but I want all the product there. It's the Mario Badescu Glyc Glycolic Foaming Cleanser. Not really my favorite, but that's what I've been using. So I'm just going to wash my face. Then I use a toner, the Thayer's toner. I have the cucumber one right now. Then I do moisturizer. I'm using this Honest Beauty Lightweight Daily Moisturizer. And then I brush my teeth, and that's really it. <laughs> I'm going to end the night off by reading one more chapter of Malibu Rising. So, I will end off this vlog here. Good night. Thanks for joining me on my little self-care day. Sorry, it's not super eventful, but I wanted to be realistic and share how I rest without feeling guilty. So, thanks for joining me. I will see you some other time on the internet. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.